Hello, it is Sunday, July 17th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Sunday puzzle today, so it is an extra large grid, and we have also today a special note. We have an interesting note that I have briefly read, but I have no idea what it means. So this benoted edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Joe Percy, Joseph Schwalbach, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the inimitable Connor O'Neill, and the infallible Cynthia Toms. So thank you so much to the six of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. If you'd like to join their ranks and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve. And there's a link in the description field underneath the video. And thank you, of course, to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign at any level. You can do that for a few pounds a month or the equivalent in your local currency, and you can receive all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date and all of the new ones that go up each week. And let's move, oops, let's move on quickly. It is it's becoming extremely hot here in the UK. I, um, this is going to be something of an endurance test. I have to keep the windows and doors closed in here for noise reasons while I record these. And that <laughs> means it's also can become a bit of an oven. I thought it's going to get much worse. Apparently by midweek, it'll be verging on 40 degrees Celsius here, which is, I think, over 100 Fahrenheit if, if you don't use Celsius. So that will give you some sense of... Uh, and I know there are probably places where that's normal, but uh, we don't really have air conditioning in this. Uh, uh, there isn't much air conditioning in this country in residential homes anyway. Uh, we certainly don't have any. Anyway, that's uh, that's that. Uh, so fortunately, at least, I think that will be midweek when the puzzles are a bit shorter than today. But today is a long puzzle, so let's get on with it. It is a Sunday puzzle. It was, uh, it was constructed by Gleg... The heat is already addling my brain. That's my excuse. It was constructed by Greg Slovacek, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. And we have this note. It's uh, And the, the, the puzzle, of course, it's Sunday puzzle, so it has a title. It's entitled, It's All on the Table, which I assume is, going, I assume is a poker thing or a gambling thing, because the note says, A note on Texas Hold'em. Players seek to combine one or more of the cards they hold with cards laid out on the table to make the best possible five card poker hand. So that's a very interesting note. And presumably the the theme will involve card values or something in the grid. I don't know what to expect from that, but let's start solving. Italian almond flavored cookies. Uh, is it Amaretti? An am uh, amaro. I don't I actually don't remember exactly the word for almond itself, but that prefix is related to Almond uh, amaros are um, you get uh, bitter liqueurs that tend to be. They're actually not all almond based, but that's a category that, of which many are almond based and named for that. Anyway, pop culture sister site of the Onion. Uh, the AV Club is it maybe AVC? Are they not called the AV Club anymore? Maybe it's just AVC now. I'm not sure. The Onion is the. Um, online satirical newspaper, but they had a, um, uh, an entertainment section that was not satirical. It was a, it was a legitimate entertainment criticism publication called the AV Club, and I guess they must be spun off now or something. Anyway, locale at St. Mark's Square. I'm not sure what that's referring to offhand. I'm back. Miss me, maybe? No, it doesn't. It's too many, too few letters. Flowers like marigolds and petunias. Takes on as a tenant. Rents too, maybe? French summer is, um, et, uh, summer? Or is it ete? I think it's ete. I think I keep, this is the strangest thing with this word. I consistently, um, second guess, second guess myself when, I'm <laughs> when I'm pronouncing this French word aloud, and it's completely ridiculous because it's a it's a it's a sort of elementary um, elementary bit of French vocabulary, and yet uh, consistently. But I'm pretty sure it's ete, and that's always my first thought, and then I always second guess it on these crosswords specifically because I see it without the accents over the e's, which you you would see if you saw it written in French. So when I ordinarily see it written, I don't have that problem. But of course, as has been pointed out several times recently by commenters, 
the New York Times crossword doesn't have diacritical marks in the answers, so uh, that can cause linguistic confusion. Anyway, let's move on. Blank consummation, devoutly to be wished. I'm not sure. This or something, thou, I don't know. Yarn could be a tail. You could spin a, spin a yarn. Tall tail. A plenty. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Plant with clusters of tiny white flowers. Hmm, I wonder if it's something like crinella or something, referring to kind of, if it's related to crenellations, little little sort of intricacies, I'm not sure. Instinctive, maybe pat, you have something, you've learned something, you have it down pat, it's instinctive. I'm not sure. Source of the phrase, look before you leap. It's interesting. I don't know. I wonder if it'll be a Shakespeare play or something. What about this? Highland boating spot. A lock, perhaps? Highland referring to Scotland, presumably? Apollo vehicle, for short. Um, is it Lev or something? What are the what are those space, space vehicles called? That's an, it's an acronym. I think, I think it might be Lev or Lem, maybe? I don't know. I can't remember. Legislative vacancy. An open seat, maybe, for oops, for a legislative body. So you'll need to fill it with an, a by-election, maybe. And an insertion mark, a carrot, the um, little kind of up arrow looking uh, symbol that sometimes means insert something there. Like a geocentric orbit in which the orbital period is more than 24 hours. I don't know. I wonder if I'll recognize this when I see it. Put right. Repair something, you put it right. Some tow jobs for short. Repos, maybe? Re a car is being repossessed, so it's being towed by a tow truck. To come forth is to emerge. There we go. Lem, my second thought, I think was the right one. Apollo vehicle for short. I don't remember what that stands for, but someone will tell me now that I've <laughs> indicated that I don't know. Okay, opportunity for making professional connect connections, a networking event or network. Maybe it's just networking in general as a noun. Hmm. Like a geocentric orbit in which the orbital period is more than 24 hours. Now, what is this? Is emerge not right? Come forth. Aired again. Hmm. Reran. And maybe this isn't networking. Interesting. So is this is there a rebus perhaps? Ah, yes, there is, because that would be a two, which is the value of a of a, a card, a playing card. So here we go. Here's our first. <laughs> Our first potential inclusion in our poker hand, maybe, is a two. So what was what is this then? Hmm. I have no idea what this means. H I G two. Hmm. Network. Maybe this, maybe this is network event, an opportunity for making professional connections. What what about this traditional Easter entree, roast lamb? A roast ham. Hmm. Resort chain since 1950. Oh, Club Med? Is this sort of going to be two of clubs? What is going on here? How do I fit that in? More versed in esoterica, maybe niche or no? I'm confused about what's going on here. So if this is med and this is club, so this is sort of two of clubs. I do not understand what's going on. This is very interesting. I'm intrigued. <laughs> uh, oh, nerdier maybe is more, more versed in esoterica. And, oh, 123 across is holding that wins this puzzle's game. So this will be of oh, the royal flush, maybe? 
Right. I bet we're going to be creating a royal flush as our poker hand, which is what the rarest possible poker hand. Biblical or the highest value. Biblical verb with thou. Thou doest letter starter. Dear somebody or salutation for the letter. Bhutanese bovines. Yaks, perhaps. And a footnote indicator. An asterisk. All right, so I'm just going to solve everything around here and hope that that explains what I have to do because I'm still confused. They might be down for a nap. And economy part. Economy part. I don't know, supply and demand? I'm not sure. I might be thinking about this the wrong way. It might be a different sense of the word economy. Thick slices or slabs, maybe, of food, of beef or something. Wise could be sage, maybe. Just a, a sage person, a wise person. Bridal path. And the, oh, the aisle. You walk down the aisle, of course, in a wedding ceremony. And to do okay academically is get a B, maybe? Get a B or a C. Either of those, I think, could be said do okay. Economy part. So a sector of the economy. There we go. Let's get a C, which I think is a tighter match for doing okay than a B. B would be doing well. They might be down for a nap. Blankets. Sure. Why not? You might put a blanket down. All right. So what is this? So this does look, look like a vent. Network. Oh, it's not two of clubs and it's not. Wait a second. Oh, it is two. Uh, wow. This is fascinating. So this is going to be king of clubs. Right. Right. How do we put this in the grid? Is that what this is? So if this is king, it's networking event, and then down, it's Club Med, which is a resort, a chain of um, sort of holiday resorts. And then this is two, uh, two in the acrosses, and I don't know, I don't understand what this is. I mean, this will be like a geocentric orbit in which the orbital period is more than 24 hours. I don't understand how any of the suit card, suits of cards, clubs, diamonds, hearts, or spades fit this. I'm, there's something I'm not understanding. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep going and hope that we find more examples of this that explain what, what's, what I'm missing. Little cells and part of a sword, the hilt of a sword, the um, the bit that, uh, the sort of crossbar thing. Hurriedly, at speed or apace or in haste. There we go. Quarterback stat abbreviation. Not the person to ask. At least I recognized quarterback, I think. I assume that's quarterback. Um, I don't know. Attacks? Is that something that quarterbacks do? I have no idea. Forbidden fragrance. Oh, I guess it is ATT. -T. Maybe that is attacks. Uh, taboo is a, um, a perfume, I believe, spelled in this manner. And how words may be recited by rote or... I'm wondering if this is going to be another rebus. Works as a mixologist. Tens, yes, tens bar. You're a bartender tending bar. So here we have 10 is our card and then tens bar. So what is this? So this is by rote. Why is that? By memory? What What is this that corresponds to the card? I really don't understand what's going on with the downs. I'm very sorry. I hope I figured out by the end of the puzzle. <laughs> I'm worried I'm going to solve the whole puzzle and not have figured what that means. Just slightly worrisome. Language in which in which Kupsarat means beautiful. It must be Urdu. Uh, based on the crosses, that's interesting. And model banks. I've heard of Tyra banks, so there we go. And a noting, noted sparkling wine region. I always forget if this is Asti or Asta. I think it's Asti in Italy. And waterworks, e.g., is an, uh, uh, as abbreviation, is a utility. So uh, a utility providing... Uh, water, um, water to homes, a utility company, a public utility company. 
recycling receptacle, recycling bin. You might have recycling bins, so bins. And anger is inferior. Where did I see what that is? Sorry. From Serbia or Croatia, say. Uh, Slovak? Let me make sure that's right. Place to wear goggles. And blank the way. Title meaning commander. Aga? Is it an A-G-H-A? Is that... Or Emir, perhaps? Hmm. What else? Benching targets informally. Reps, maybe, or sets, or total weights. Um, hmm. Zip could be nil, as in none, nothing. Zip. Bench targets informally. Benching targets. Right. I was thinking of exercise. Is there another? Oh, maybe it's a... Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. Title meaning commander. I don't know what that is either. Maybe no, Maybe this is wrong. Blank the way. Hmm, I'm just I'm not making any progress here, am I? What about this one? Uses a ride ordering service. Ubers, I suppose, uses the Uber app. Place to wear goggles. A, the tub, maybe? Doesn't look right at all. Place to wear goggles. I wonder if there's a a rebus going on somewhere over here. Anger. I don't know, what would this be, invective or in... I can't... I mean, you could say you're infuriated, but you don't really... You don't say infuri. I suppose it could be anger as a, as a verb, to inflame or to... Could that, does that mean anger, to inflame somebody? Place to wear goggles. Oh, lab. Anger. Yeah, maybe it is isn't flame. Blank the way, save the way, um, make the way, pave the pave the way for somebody else. Oh, Slavic. Yes. Okay. I was extremely unhappy with Slovak, which didn't, or whatever I said, which didn't make any sense um, in this context. But Slavic is what I was trying to think of. Sorry about that. All right. So, so indeed, a commander is a mirror, which was my second guess. And then benching targets are pecs, pectoral muscles. There we go. And zip is pep. So it doesn't mean zero. It means energy. Sorry, that was a ridiculous. <laughs> I was just completely stumped by that little area. That was strange. Anyway, no, no rebuses at all. It was just normal crossword solving, and I got completely tripped up. The reason I didn't leave is because um, I wasn't going to get any more. I already had royal flush. So there wasn't ever going to be any more information coming into this part of the grid from elsewhere. I wasn't going to get any new crosses. So I knew I was going to have to solve this area unto itself without any additional help. So I just wanted to get it done. Fortunately, that happened. So let's back up to where we've left off. Do we see this? No. Reason one might not go out for a long time. I'm not sure. What about this tuna type, ahi tuna? And little cells right. What was that? I'm back. The flowers. What was this? Source of the phrase, look before you leap. And our in Italy, aura. Source of the phrase, look before you leap. Oh, Aesop. Aesop's fables. That that makes sense. Yes, actually, I remember that. And I don't remember, I mean, I sort of rem I, I remember it being the, the moral of one of the fables, but I don't remember which fable it was. I remember reading all of those as a child, but I, yeah, I don't remember which one this was. Anyway, a plenty. This this must have a rebus. Like, surely I can't imagine something meaning a plenty in this f format. Okay, uh, but you know what? For now, I'm just going to keep going. 
what can we do over here? The Tabard in the Canterbury Tales, e.g. It must have been the name of an inn in the Canterbury Tales, which I did read, but I don't remember very well. They're picked by the picky. Nits, you could pick nick pick nits, you could um, raise tiny objections. And schleps something around as palls it around, maybe. Reason one might not go out for a long time. Insomnia, there we go. Not go out meaning fall asleep. You're you're out, you're asleep. I'm back. And flowers like marigolds and petunias. Oh, I wish I knew what this was. I'm sure this is fairly straightforward, but I just I'm not sure. Instinctive, maybe this is Pat. I'm back. Oh, annuals. There we go. There we go. I, I, I thought I should know that, and I just couldn't couldn't bring it to mind. So little cells are hmm. Little cells. Oh, oh! I spelled annuals incorrectly. Whoops. Sorry about that. Pat must be wrong. This is triple A's, as in batteries, uh, battery cells, power cells. And then instinctive is gut. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So Pat wasn't quite right there. I was, I was stretching that slightly because I wanted it to fit, but it was not quite right. And I'm back is me again. All right, there we go. Uh, plant. Okay. So what is this? Locale at St. Mark's Square. Venetian, a plenty. In, I wonder if this is going to be a rebus. Oh, but I still don't know what the downs mean. I don't know what the downs mean, so I don't actually think I can, I can solve it that way. If this were an I, oh, tis a com, oh. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. Is that right? I'm not quite certain that fits. <laughs> Often when I'm trying to um, sort of instinctively verify a um, Shakespearean line, I sort of do the iambic pentameter meter in my head to try and confirm or deny it. So, tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. I mean, the end of the the last syllable of consummation and the first syllable of devoutly are both unstressed. So sometimes you get lines of Shakespeare that aren't strictly iambic pentameter. They're sort of a ghost syllable that you have to insert yourself. So that might just be it. Anyway, plant with clusters of tiny white, because this does seem like this seems very reasonable as the answer to me. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. A, a plenty. And, okay, so what could this be? It could be one, Canisloan? I don't know. That seems relatively likely, just in the sense that... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I kept saying this was the AV club, and that is actually a suit. So... What does this mean? I'm still not understanding this puzzle entirely. So that one reads with... That one reads the way this does, where this is Club Med, and this is AV Club. I still don't understand what this one is. One... Two, three, four, five. I'm just sorry. I'm just six, seven, seven, and eight, nine, ten, and this Jack or Knave, Queen. Oh, Queen Anne's Lace. Queen Anne's Lace. All right. I'm going to switch to doing this with the value of the card. Sorry. I we should have done that backwards. <laughs> uh, and then this is the ace. So a 
plenty in... Oh, no, it's not in aces. It would be something else down. It'd be in spades, in spades. Okay, all right. So that that is that is what this is. So why, why am I not able to understand this one? Because all the rest of them make sense. They're all actually straightforward. So we have club med, in spades, av club, hig diamond ditch. It's not right. Uh... High, I guess heart is pronounceable because the H from the beginning of heart makes this high. Oh, high earth, high earth. Like, a, sorry, okay, I'm sorry. That's embarrassing that I didn't actually think that through before. I could have just gone through each of those and thought about it. I'm sorry. All right, moving on. High earth, right? We've, we've figured it out. AV Club, In Spades, High Earth, and Club Med. All right, I'm sorry. Let's see if we can make, some, make it through this puzzle in some, some better time. One after the other. In, in twos. In twos. No. It's not right. Two by two, one by one? Hmm. I'm not sure. I can't tell if that's a rebus thing or or something else. Fruit also called blackthorn, slow. I think probably most famously used in, in slow gin. And to frolic is to romp, maybe? Oh, in turn. One after the other is in turn. I really was looking for that to be a um I was looking for that to be a um a rebus thing, but no, it's not. So what about this? Taken with you're smitten with, yes, and then smitten. So the number 10, and then down we'll, we'll have a suit. Rave attendees, for example. Club goers. Uh, clubbers, yes, okay. So we have 10 of clubs here. Control element in medical trials. Uh, placebo, uh, that, that'll, that'll, that'll be another ace. Placebo, the... Um, the sort of sugar pill or, or stand in for medication that doesn't, that is itself, you know, ineffective. Literature, well, actually, I guess arguably not ineffective, but not chemically effective through its own, in its own right, but possibly psychologically effective. And I guess in some sense, chemically through the brain as well. Anyway, literature, theater, filmmaking, and others are, so this will be T clubs, T diamonds, th th theater, uh, Hearts. The arts, right, sorry. The arts from T Heart T Heart S. All right. America's singer, Neil Simon. No, Paul Simon. Oh, Neil Diamond. Sorry. Because I was I was connecting all of my various combinations of Neil, Paul, and Simon because um Paul Simon of because Simon and Garfunkel had a song called America. So I was thinking I was thinking Paul Simon, but different song, I guess. So this must be Neil Diamond. Nope, but we don't put in the suit, or at least I'm choosing not to. Uh, this will be what? Waters of the world figuratively, the seven seas. All right, and then we have Neil Diamond going down. Here we have home of Aulani Palace. That's Oahu. Yeah, on the island, uh, well, sorry, one of the islands of the state of the of Hawaii, formerly the Kingdom of Hawaii, hence the Royal Palace. And actress Perlman of Cheers, uh, Rhea Perlman, great comic actor, and daybreaks are sunups. Good judgment is sense, straightforward enough. M or B, E.G. Oh, aunt, Auntie M or, or Aunt B. Um, one of whom is from um, The Wizard of Oz, and I don't remember the provenance of the other. All right. See, Steve Martin, Tina Fey, and Drew Barrymore all more than five times. This must be SNL hosts, which comes up in the New York Times crossword from time to time. That's sort of that subject matter generally. Counterpart of thanks spelled in this abbreviated online sort of way would be please, PLS, and groups within groups. Subsets, maybe? another fairly straightforward one common component of a tiki bar cocktail is rum 
Almost all tiki drinks are rum based. There are a few, a few gin argue, drinks you could arguably call tiki drinks that are gin based, but uh, almost always they are rum based. And big swigs are belts. You take, you sort of take a belt of a of your drink. Sign of a full house. So literally, the sign that could be posted when all of the seated tickets are sold is SRO standing room only. Uh, this came up a number of times early in this series, early in the Daily Solves history, and has not in months and months, I don't think. Original first name of Mickey Mouse, Mortimer Mouse, I think, was Mickey Mouse's first name, I believe. I don't know why I know that. Public transit customer is a rider. It could be a train rider, a tram rider, a bus rider. Patterned fabric. Uh, twill? There might be other options for that. I might I might leave that and come back to it. Uh, philosopher Descartes is René Descartes. I think, therefore I am, famously. Chill could be to ice something, to chill it, a drink perhaps. Perhaps your, um, perhaps your rum-based tiki cocktail. Oh, look at that. It's right under there, yeah. And artifacts are relics. And that's cool, man. I dig it. Look at this. We haven't had any rebuses down here, any of the any components of our eventual poker hand. This does look like twill, doesn't it? The patterned fabric. And here we have entering gingerly. Easing in, I suppose. Yeah, that looks right. Or it sounds right to me. What can keep a bubble from bursting. Is this not, maybe, oh, is it twelve? Hmm. Might leave this blank of the pattern, the element of the pattern fabric. I might have been spelling it wrong or, or pronouncing it wrong or thinking about it wrong. Polite refusal could be no, sir. What can keep a bubble from bursting? And Humphrey Bogart roll. Um, Sam Spade, uh, many, many other roles. What, did, um, uh, probably should be able to think, oh, it is Sam Spade. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> My first thought was correct. And I just wasn't thinking about the rebus, Sam, and then we'll put Spade in here, but in, we'll need to put a, a value of the card in and the crosses. So that's good to know. What can keep a bubble from bursting? I don't know. I think I'm going to need more help on this one. Place to dine on a train. A tray? A seat back tray? Oh, a club car. Maybe maybe the club car? So we have, a, we have two, wow, potentially two rebuses abutting one another in this answer. I think. I, that could be. Let's, let's look elsewhere. Kismet could be luck, maybe? Hmm. Doesn't look good with, against a car. Scornful look, a sneer, perhaps. And Whole Lot of Love was a Led Zeppelin song. That was one that would sometimes, I think, be performed live with like ludicrously long guitar solos, I think. Kismet. Fate. There we go. Okay. And uh, sci-fi author Asimov, Isaac Asimov. And Purple and Thai Herbs. Um, purple... Basil and Thai basil. And what can keep a bubble from bursting? Oh, there's so much going on here. I'm going to still wait until I have more. Part of USDA. Well, we can see which part of it it is. It's the bit beginning with A. The United States Department of Agriculture. Is that what it is? AGR. Missouri site of 2014 uh, civil rights protests was Ferguson, Missouri. And what can keep... Okay, so what is this? What can keep a bubble from bursting? I'm worried there are even... I'm worried this, this maybe even this is also a rebus. I'm going to... I know it's not. Think too highly of something or someone is to overrate them. So what can keep a bubble from bursting? Surf... Surface tension. 
Right. Wow. That's clever. So um, with the, right, with a sort of bubble of, could be water, could be something like soap or something that forms uh, surface tension and creates a, um, you know, I don't know how to explain this because <laughs> I just don't have the language for it, but uh, creates, a, a, I guess like it says, a sort of bubble-like covering over a small aperture. Anyway, that's, you could find a much better explanation of that. Surface tension. Great. So here we have the Ten of Spades, and down we have the Ace of Clubs. Great. The club car was indeed the place to dine on a train. Uh, have we had any of the... No, we had networking event, had two, but not next to one another. But but actually, you know, that, that is symmetrically disposed to this answer. Each of those has two rebuses and then similarly queen anne's lace has two so that might be that might be symmetrically disposed to another here that has two but let's let's just keep playing around in this area where we already are fraser of 1999's the mummy brendan fraser was the star of the 1999 film the mummy and roulette beds with nearly one-to-one -one odds or evens yes nearly because there uh, there's one additional space on the roulette wheel that is neither uh, black nor red, which means it gives the house a marginal advantage. Um, it is not an, not an even bet to to bet on to bet on uh, well or evens or odds or blacks or reds. Sorry, I guess any of those. Okay, old imperial title would be a czar, a Russian uh, former Russian ruler, and nineteen seventy five Wimbledon winner was it Arthur Ashe? I'm guessing. In four letters, you never know in this puzzle. It could be a rebus, but I suspect it's Arthur Ashe. And public discussion venues are fora, pl uh, plural of forum. Small songbird could be a wren. And Anne Hathaway's role in 2010's Alice in Wonderland. I don't know. It's obviously not Alice. Um, what other characters are there? The Queen of Hearts? Who else is there? I mean, that's obviously very... That's extremely relevant to the theme, but doesn't seem like it fits here. I can't think who else. I can't think. I just can't think of any other characters. Sorry. Indicator on a clock or one of four in this puzzle. A minute hand. What does that mean? Minute hand. I mean, is it, it's a hand of in in cards minute or minute I'm not sure what that's referring to so what was this a white something white queen right there was the white queen and the red queen right that's what i was trying to think of okay i can just i just had that wrong in my head so that's queen and then down is what fireplaces hearths right so heart queen of hearts in this case is the card all right this is very clever cardinal point uh west why does that have a question mark? It's one of the cardinal compass directions. Am I missing something about this? Is it not west? Zip. Oh, right. Maybe it's not. Oh, a nest. Oh, that's funny. What a, what a funny coincidence. Or maybe that was intentional. Probably was. Uh, a cardinal, the bird. A place where the cardinal goes. It's the point for a cardinal, the cardinal's nest. At least I think that's probably the probably the answer. What is this zip? I, I, it occurred to me that zip probably wasn't a word ending in W, but I actually didn't mean I had an, an idea about what it actually is. So zip is, I don't know. Hmm. I thought that was going to be, oops, I thought that was going to be very clear, but maybe not. Statistics, e.g. our data, and zip. Put on the map, say, something, something tid. Site of a counter offer, a deli. Oh, Elon, right. Okay, so zip meaning enthusiasm, or uh, I guess you could, in the sense of zip, I guess you could also say pep. Oh, and indeed, that's how this was clued. Right, pep was clued as zip. I see. That might be why this is clued this way. I wouldn't personally say that zip and Elon. I wouldn't consider them strict synonyms. They probably 
They probably are if you look them up in the dictionary. I think of a lawn as meaning more style or panache, whereas zip is energy and doesn't necessarily mean you did it with a lawn, but they may in fact be synonyms. They probably are. Okay, raid and plunder. Um, I don't know. Is this definitely minute hand indicator on a clock? Minute hand, second hand, hour hand. Only minute really seems like it fits to me. Put on the map, charted, as in the opposite of uncharted territory, not on a map. And some gear for a gig, mics, microphones. A gig meaning a, a music show, of which there is a very large one happening outside uh, my window in the nearby Finsbury Park. There's been music festivals going on for the past couple of weeks, which is one of the reasons the window's closed, although also for other noise that happens. All right, fire-resistant tree is... Uh, I don't know. What am I missing in this area? It seems like it shouldn't be very difficult. Do some hemming but not hawing is to sew. So you could hem a dress, say. Sew it. And register ring up is... What? Register ring up. And four for the HMS Pinafore. Does it mean sort of four is in fore and aft because we're referring to a ship? What does it want? Consume. Hmm. Running out of ideas here. There must be, I bet there are some rebuses in this area. Maybe not. May. Fire resistant tree is a maple tree. I this minute is really tripping me up here. What what could be going on? I have no idea if a maple tree is fire resistant. So if that's maple, this just doesn't look right at all. I don't think that's right. Uh, what other sorts of trees begin with M? It probably begins with M, but it doesn't. The thing is, it doesn't need to be five letters long because we could have. We could have a rebus cell. What is it? And here we have raid and plunder. Invade? But then that wouldn't fit with Delhi. Raid and plunder, like, like what pirates do. Surely this is charted. Put on the map, say. That seems like... Register ring up. I mean, the most obvious answer to that would be a sale. You bring up a sale. That doesn't work with charted or this. Maybe this is all wrong. Maybe everything here is incorrect. Maybe this isn't mics, but rather amps, which would be, that would be the first thing I would think of. But why did I have mics there? Why did I have M-I-C? Oh, it's because of charted. Oh, plotted on a map. Register bring up sale? Yeah, right. That's what I said a minute ago. That's why I started changing this memory. Okay, so raid and plunder. Oh, maraud, as in marauders. And four, yes, the prow, the prow of the ship is at the four. There we go. All right, that is what that is. So HMS Pinafore, it doesn't matter that it's um, from the musical or light opera, I guess, the HMS Pinafore. It's, it's just referring to any ship. So the four of the ship is where the prow is located. And then consume is to eat something and a fire resistant tree is an aspen. Okay, look at that. It was minute hand after all, and everything was normal. There were no rebuses. Look at this. We have two tens, two aces. Interesting. Oh, but they're of different suits. So that's how we're going to construct our hand. That's so. In this is this is fun. Uh, I wonder how that's going to work. One hundred percent is all or a whole or um, spot is to see something maybe. One picking up the tab is someone who treats a treater, and 100% is pure. Right, there we go. It can have a French or pistol grip. It must be an epe, the um, fencing sword. So I suppose that, right, yes. I, I actually can think, I can imagine the, the different grips. I've never fenced, but but I just, you know, in films and things, I, 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 can, I can picture the different grip types. Honest and caring would be open-hearted, probably. 
So this will be a Rebus, some loungewear. I'll come back to that, too long for now. Oh, and Royal Flush is being highlighted. Why is that? Oh, 123. Oh, I completely forgot that this was a two-part clue. 123 across is holding that wins this puzzle's game. So poker player or... It'll be something, it'll... Uh, yeah, anyway. FDR initiative for workers' rights. Um, for workers' rights. National Labor Association, NLA? Diana, oh no, NRA, right, which is, you don't see this much anymore, be, uh, this acronym used because it's been sort of supplanted in kind of public awareness by the National Rifle Association, but it's, this is, this is an FD, a sort of New Deal era thing, and I can't remember what it stands for. Anyway. Sorry, I can't remember. It's come up in the crossword before, and I just can't recall. Anyway, Diana Ross was once a member of the Supremes. The Supremes with Diana Ross, or Diana Ross and the Supremes, or something like that. Uh, Diana Ross, the singer, of course. And uh, 1998, Matt Damon film featuring this puzzle's game. What a fortunate... So I've never seen this film, but what a strange coincidence. I, it literally was brought up in conversation last night. Rounders. And I... I think I'd probably heard the name before, but I had no idea it was a gambling related film. So it's only as of 18 hours ago that I could have solved this clue off the top of my head. So I suppose that's the value of sort of being broadly aware of a wide range of things when solving the crossword. 1998 film Rounders, which I have never seen, but I know involves poker in some fashion. Account creator maybe would be a user of a service and Blank Excited, Pointed Sisters song. I'm so excited, presumably. Is it, oh, is it, I'm so excited, I just can't hide it? Is that, is that that song? And Trumpeter Armstrong is Louis Armstrong, the great jazz musician and singer. And yearly January speech to Congress abbreviation is the State of the Union in U.S. politics, the S-O-T-U. Some loungewear, oh, a smoking jacket? Um, it is right. Yes, of course. Right. Sorry. I said that. And then I didn't do anything with it. So smoking Jack it with an S because uh, in this case, it's several of them. How, how That's very good. So here down, we have King of what? Give new hope to hearten. You could hearten somebody, give them hope. And then, oh, and we already had this one, which was open hearted. So here's our King and Jack of hearts. I think our hearts are probably going to be our royal flush. And then held in high regard is esteemed. And actually, that might complete the puzzle. Let's quickly, before we do that, let's look at our potential royal flush. So, um, we have our two of hearts. That I don't think that will be part of it. Uh, king of clubs, I don't think so. So what is a royal flush, actually? Do I even know? I don't think I do. <laughs> I think I did at one point, and now I can't remember. A royal flush, what is it? I think in my head I was thinking of a straight, but it's not. Oh no, but there's also a straight flush. Is a straight flush when it's 9, 10, jack, queen, king? Is that a royal flush? I don't, or straight flush, I mean. Or, I don't know, sorry. I'm going to have to solve the puzzle and just assume, I hope it shows me. So let's admire the puzzle. So, oh, look at that. Oh, that's fun. I thought this was maybe what it would do, something like this. So we now have our cards represented as little icons showing their value and suits. So we have the King, Jack, Ten, Queen. Oh, maybe it is the maybe that is the royal flush because they're all of the same suit, I guess. Or no, the flush is that they're all of the same suit, and then I don't know. Sorry, 
<laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll just look this up quickly because I've, this is infuriating, and I'm, I want to um, I want to obviate the need for somebody to have to correct me on this <laughs> tomorrow because it's so relevant to the theme. I don't want to wait until tomorrow's um, corrections in order to to describe this. Okay, so uh, I just looked this up on my phone, and a royal flush is. Oh, I see. It is also known as an ace-high straight flush. Okay, so that was, my instinct was correct. It is a hand consisting of the cards ace, king, queen, jack, ten of the same suit. This is the rarest and strongest hand in poker. Okay, that is what I thought. <laughs> is what I thought it was. So, um, and then a straight flush is, I see, a hand that is both straight, the cards are all in sequence, and a flush, the cards are all of the same suit. And then the thing that makes it a royal flush is that it's eight. It's that it's, it's ace high, so it includes all of the face cards as well. Okay, great. All all figured out. I think I probably could have reasoned that out logically if I'd kept thinking about it, but that would have been torturous to all of you watching me move through it. Anyway, what a clever puzzle! It's funny that it took me so incredibly long to arrive. This is really the cell here. This two of hearts. This is the one that really. For some reason, I was unable to see the down element of it. I don't know why. And I sort of gave up on solving the down element of the theme as a result of that. I wish I'd I wish I had thought about it a little more carefully because um the way that it works was how I sort of thought it was going to work, and then I talked myself out of it. What a fun theme. And this would be one that I would, you know, in contrast to I think this past week's Monday and Tuesday puzzles, this would absolutely not be a puzzle I would give to a beginner. This would not be the first Sunday puzzle I would suggest someone try solving. This would be, I think, maddening beyond belief. If you didn't know you could put rebuses into the puzzle, even if you did, maybe you'd encountered a rebus before, but it didn't occur to you that they could spell different things horizontally and vertically. I mean, it would be it would be mystifying and maddening, I think. But if you are aware of those things and and it, you consider that sort of possibility as you solve the New York Times crossword, I think it's I think this was quite a fun puzzle. A very clever theme, very well constructed, very impressive, I think. Well done. And I always like <laughs> one of the nice things about solving online rather than on the paper is that sometimes you do get these nice little pictographic uh elements that they insert at the end to finish it off. It's always fun, I think. And there we have it. A very impressive puzzle. A debut puzzle, in fact, I think. Yes, it was a debut puzzle by Greg Slovacek. So well done to him. I can see why this was chosen um, as his debut. I can see why this, this got him in to the constructor's rotation. Hello, I'm interrupting myself with a, a bit of a postscript here that I didn't notice until after I had already ended the recording. Now, I never really went back to this clue, 39 down, that reads 120, 123 across is holding that wins this puzzle's game. And I was thinking about that and I was wondering, what does that mean? Smoking jackets holding? What does that mean? But no, it means literally the cards that are found within the clue, within the answer to 123 across, which are the king and jack of hearts. And so what this is actually representing is one of four players at the poker table. So we have a player down here in the, the southeast corner with a king and a jack of hearts. We have a player in the southwest with an uh, ace of clubs and a ten of diamonds. We have a player in the northwest with a queen of uh, clubs and an ace of diamonds and a player in the northeast with a two of hearts and a king of clubs. And the winning player is going to combine their king and jack of hearts with the ace of hearts, the ten of hearts, and the queen of hearts to make the royal flush. So that's what's going on. Not only is this a grid full of poker, well, full of playing cards, it is actually a grid depicting a game of poker with four players and then the cards on the table. And they're, the ones on the table are even, they're even arrayed in this nice diagonal pattern. They're very... Um, the the dealer i guess has being is being tidy here whereas the individual players are of of varying levels of of tidiness with their own hands 
Uh, so that's just, it's a very clever extra, it's a, it's a detail that I hadn't picked up on during the solve, I suppose, because until the, you didn't, you don't know until the end exactly what's going on. Um, and I never, I never returned to this little bit here about the holdings of 123 across winning the game. So that's very clever. It, it doesn't just mimic the hands, it mimics the actual game of poker. Very clever. And that it makes sense because the note explains players seek to combine one or more of the cards they hold with cards laid out on the table. So that's that was actually an important part of this note. All right. And now on to the clues from yesterday's puzzle, I suppose. So let's quickly dispatch a couple of clues from yesterday's puzzle. I think I'm just going to read two to get on with this. Or No, maybe I just had one. No, I think I only saved one. Well, that's the one I'm going to read. <laughs> so uh, Ethan Atchel says, There have been some pushes in recent years to view the quality of baseball pitches in terms of their spin rate, as it seems to have an equivalent or perhaps even greater impact on results compared to velocity. The spin of a pitch, for example, determines how it will act. A fastball has black sorry, backspin with higher revol revolutions per minute backspin, making the pitch appear to rise. A curveball hinted in the clue in yesterday's puzzle has top spin and greater RPM curveballs tend to break curve more. As you suggested, this technology has only existed for a few years and that way of quantifying pitches is still more accepted in more analytical focused communities, but it's slowly making its way to the broader baseball community. Very interesting. I was not aware of that as a bit of technology, but I suppose it's no surprise we can measure that sort of thing. I guess if you have, I don't know, lasers, I guess probably do. I was going to say high frame rate, high frame rate film or video, but I can't imagine being able to shoot at a high enough frame rate to discern the revolutions of a ball at that speed. I don't know. Maybe. Probably lasers. Who knows? <laughs> I could probably read about it. Anyway, that was that for yesterday's clue. That one that one comment that I happened to read. I apologize if there were other corrections that needed to be read that I missed. And that's that for today's puzzle. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought that was a, a fun one. As usual, it was quite a long Sunday solve. That's how it goes. I will be back tomorrow for the much quicker Monday solve and a much smaller grid. Presumably no rebuses either. I'd be very surprised to find those tomorrow. And that's that. I hope you join me. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care.